All right, before. All right, part way through the process. TRD grill, 05 Sequoia. It's starting to look good. And here is the final picture of the Sequoia grill, TRD. With the lights on. All right, I'm gonna try this uh, TRD grill for my 05 Sequoia here. Yeah, bought this online and we gotta modify it and see if we can get it to fit. Uh, I was inspired by uh, Monday 86. Anyway, he's got some great videos. I'm gonna cut all these tabs off with my all-purpose tool. All right, so as you can see, I've made a lot of the rough cuts here, and now I'm starting to kind of clean up. Time to clean up the edges. You can see I took some quite a bit of pieces off of uh, the TRD grill, and this is kind of all we have left. But uh, that's what's gonna eventually fit in here. Uh, I still have a little more to go, but I, I want to clean up these edges here and kind of get a little bit of an idea of what that might look like. I got the blue tape on there so I don't scratch this stuff up because, you know, that'll just make more work in the long run. So, anyway, it's uh, looking, uh, looking like this might actually work out. I was starting to feel a little skeptical, but uh, I'm just going to keep at it here. All right, so here's the, the grill thing that I'm doing. So I haven't done a great job of, uh, I guess, documenting my progress, but um, this was red before, which I think I showed, um, and I uh, painted it, uh, primed it with black. I filled in those spaces just like Mundy did, and... I drilled some holes there and there into the spots I filled, and I actually filled in the centerpiece. I'll show you that, but I'm just getting ready to reprimer this one more time before I do uh, final paint because I want the outside to match uh, the car. I, I, I thought about doing the black, uh, but I think it looks kind of funny on the, on the 2005 um, because of the way the bumper integrates to it. Um, and the new... Uh, 2023 um, has it uh, painted around the outside. So anyway, uh, just a little little update. All right, guys. Uh, While well, I'm waiting for the uh, paint to dry on the uh, the outer part of the grill we're building here, just wanted to do a quick update on um, you know, how this. Uh, TRD part is turning out. Uh, painted, I painted it with a semi-gloss. I'm not sure I like it. I think I'm going to paint it again uh, with with more of a, um, a flat. Um, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, so just so you can kind of see what I got going on on the sides after you got it cut to the right size, I went ahead and used that JB Weld um, plastic bond uh, there's a spent cartridge of it um, stuff is awesome it's so much fun to play with um, anyway that's and that's the, the box there but anyway so I filled in those sides you can kind of see um, I did both sides uh, and then uh, when you get up here at the top this this piece uh, up here at the top of the grill um, is hollow and I wanted to kind of fill that in so that uh, you know, if you're peeking in from the side, it just looks a little more professional. You know, eh, this this stuff ain't perfect, but you know what? Um, it it looks good. Um, but anyway, so that's how we're how, how we're going so far. Uh, I got to figure out. Um, there's not a lot of space for the lights up here, uh, like there is for the 04 ones. So I'll have to. Uh, that's probably the next step here. Is figuring out how to get those lights um, up there on the top all right I've got my grill put together here and now I'm working on getting the uh, 
lights put in there. So basically with those with these lights, uh, let's see, can I pop it back? Yeah, I'm not going to pop that one back out because I kind of popped in there. But anyway, I'll show you in a second here. you got to shave the uh, little top parts off a bit in order to fit it in there. But I think this is going to turn out pretty sweet. i got a couple of bolts through it there, and i got one down there and one down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and, once I have it completely done, I'm going to fill that all in with the plastic filler in order to really secure that up. But anyway, yeah, it's coming together. Can't wait to put it on the car. All right, here is uh, the lights that are going in the grill. Um, got these tabs here, and when it's a full grill, you can just pop those in into the grill. But uh, with the Sequoia there, you had to take that top row off in order to get it fit right. So we're gonna have to shave the shave these little top pieces off of each side, and then it pops right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So as you can see, I just used my Dremel tool there and just kind of chop the top off there. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to sit right up flush with the grill. I'll probably throw some glue on there too just to make sure that they don't rattle loose. So anyway, and then now let's go put it in the grill and see how it looks. All right, guys, changed my mind on how I wanted to wire this up. I did not like uh, the... Uh, bar light underneath um, connected to the same as the um, three uh, amber LED lights. So I went ahead and uh, wired, uh, I kept the, the same ground, um, but I wired in a new uh, power wire that, uh, so it goes through the, um, you know, the hood down the side. And then um, the running lights uh, go into the cab and I just have them on an accessory switch. So basically you turn the car on and they're always gonna be on. Um, but I decided to run the bar light down through here behind the, um, the headlight and I actually hooked it in. Let's get down here. <laughs> hooked it into the pink wire of the fog light. And so now when you turn the car on, and you turn on your fog lights, that bar light goes on. And I think that'll be much better. It's super bright. I don't think I want that on all the time. So anyway, yeah, it's coming together. And here is the final picture of the Sequoia Grill TRD. With the lights on, 